guys welcome to kvr maths academy today in this video let us going to discuss example 12 and 13 in main session of 10th class mathematics right yeah let us going to the topic see a solid consisting of a right circular cone standing on hemisphere is placed upright circular cylinder full of water and touches the bottom Find the volume of water left in the cylinder given that the radius of cylinder is 3 cm and its height is 6 cm. The radius of hemisphere is 2 cm and the height of the cone is 4 cm. See, this is the example 12. See again, a solid consisting of right circular cone, right circular cone on standing on hemisphere. Right circular cone standing on hemisphere is placed upright circular cylinder full of water. Full of water and it touches the bottom. Right. Yeah, next, find the volume of the water left in the cylinder. Find the volume of the water left in the cylinder. Given that the radius of the cone and hemisphere common portion is 2 centimeters. And radius height of the cone is 4 centimeters and uh, radius of the cylinder is 3 centimeters and its height is 6 centimeters. What we have to find? Volume of the water left in the cylindrical tub. Left in the cylindrical tub. See here, suppose a cylinder is full of water. A cylinder is full of water. A solid which is in the shape of cone and a hemispherical end immersed into the cylindrical tub. Next, some water flows out. No, some water flows out. What we have to find? What is the what is the volume of the water left in the tub? So, if you observe clearly, the water, the volume of the water which is flows out is equal to volume of the cone which is semi hemispherical end isn't it so let us find yeah first cylindrical yes cylinders radius is equal to how much radius r is equal to yes 3 centimeters next its height height h is equal to 6 centimeters right yeah its volume Volume V is equal to, what is the formula? Yes, pi R square H. So, that is pi into R is how much? Yes, 3 square into its height is yes, 6. 3 square is 9. 9 into 6, 54. So, this is 54 pi. Leave like this. Don't substitute pi value, right? So, 54 pi centimeter cube. Isn't it? Yeah. Next term. Uh, Cones. Cones. Yes, its radius is how much? Yes, 2 centimeters. And height is, height h is equal to, yes, 4 centimeters. This is r. Right? Yeah, volume is equal to, what is the volume of the cone? Yes, 1 by 3 pi r square h. So, that is equal to 1 by 3 into pi into r square. 2 square into its height is? How much? Yes, 4. 2 square is 4. 4, 4 is 16. So, this is 16 by 3 pi. Volume of the cone is equal to 16 pi by 3. Isn't it? Now, take hemisphere. Hemispheres. Radius is equal. Radius R is equal to how much? 2 centimeters. Next, it's volume. Volume of the hemisphere. How much? Yes, 2 third pi r cube. That is equal to 2 by 3 into pi into r cube. 2 cube, right? Yeah, 2 cube is 8. 8 to the 16. This is also 16 by 3 pi. Right? Yes, volume of the cone and the hemisphere. Hemisphere is equal to 16 by 3 pi plus 16 by 3 pi. So, that is how much? Yes, 32. 32 by 3 pi. 
isn't it yeah so volume of the volume of the water water left in the tub left in the tub is equal to what is what we have to do yes volume of the volume of the yes cylinder volume of the cylinder minus volume of the cone cone and hemisphere right yes here onwards do here volume of the cylinder is equal to yes how much 54 pi minus volume of the cylinder is a uh, cone and uh, hemisphere is yes 32 by 3 pi yes multiply this uh, 3 4 is 12 through 3 5 is 15 162 pi minus 32 pi by 3 162 minus 32 yes 130 pi by 3 here now substitute pi value so 130 by 3 into 22 by 7 yeah not cancel anything no yeah multiply 22 zero is a 22 22 zero is a zero 22 three is a 66 6 is there 22 ones are 22 plus 6 yes 28 by 3 sevens are 21 if you uh, simplify you will get 136.19 centimeter cube so therefore the volume of the water left in the tub is equal to 136.19 centimeter cube understood clearly now yes. example 13 see a cylindrical pencil is sharpened to produce a perfect cone at one end with no overall loss of its length the diameter of the pencil is 1 cm and the length of the conical portion is 2 cm. Calculate the volume of the showings. Give your answer correct to two places if it is in decimal. Use pi is equal to 355 by 113. Right. See, a pencil is there of diameter 1 cm. A pencil of diameter 1 cm has given. It is uh, sharpened at one end. It is sharpened at one end. Next, it height of the conical portion is 2 cm. So, if you sharpen one end, that will be appears like a conical shape or not? Yes, exactly. So, its height is 2 cm. Next, uh, the diameter of the base is, the diameter of the pencil is 1 cm. What we have to find? Volume of the showings, volume of the showings, which means if you sharpen a pencil with a sharpener, some dust will come now. Yes, that, that is called showings, right? So, we have to find that volume of the showings, right? Yeah. First, uh, given pencils diameter diameter how much diameter d is equal to 1 centimeters so that implies its radius radius is equal to r r is equal to d by 2 it is a 1 by 2 which means 0 0.5 centimeters right yeah next uh, height of the height of the conical conical portion height of the conical portion is equal to Yes, exactly how much? 2 centimeters has given, right? Yes. Next, uh, now, volume of the showings is equal to volume of, volume of cylinder, volume of cylinder with uh, 2 centimeters height, 2 centimeters height and 0 0.5 centimeters radius right volume of the cylinder of 2 centimeters height so before sharpened the pencil it will be cylindrical shape or not yes so that's why volume of cylinder with 2 centimeters height and 0 0.5 centimeters radius minus minus volume of conical portion 
conical portion of height 2 cm right as both are heights 2 cm and uh, radius 0.5 cm only yeah so volume of the cylinder what is the formula yes pi r square h minus volume of the conical portion yes 1 by 3 pi r square h is yes. pi r square h minus 1 by 3 pi r square h is s yes. 2 by 3 2 by 3 pi r square h now substitute these values 2 by 3 into pi value it has given that 355 by 113 so 355 by 113 into radius is how much yes 0 0.5 whole square into height is is exactly 2 right so this is 2 by 3 into 355 by 113 into 0 0.5 0 0.5 is a yes, 5 is a 25 0 0.5 0 0.5 is a is 0 0.25 into 2 yes now multiply 2 into 0 0.25 is exactly 0 0.5 right so 0 0.5 into 2 0 0.5 into 2 will be yes 1 only na yeah 1 so 1 into this will be 1 into 355 is 355 by 3 3 is a 9 3 11 is a 33 so 355 by 339 if you do division you will get uh, nearly 1.05 centimeter cube 1.05 you will get right because he has given that uh, give your answer correct to two places only na? so 1.05 is the answer so therefore volume of the showings of the pencil is equal to 1.05 centimeter cube and it's true clearly okay friends if you like my video please like and share don't forget to subscribe thank you thank you very much